Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Let's keep you guys updated with things that I found going on in the world of Transformers. I'll let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Us. Once again, this is going to be part one of two because at the moment, as it stands, I've got 22 things written down to show you. This is across the whole range, I suppose, of Transformers from third party to official uh, to statues to everything. So we've got 11 things to go through today and the next part is going to be in about 10 11 hours which means it'll be time overnight for myself to see if anything else has happened and i can add it to the other one right once again we're going to start off with something that i said it's definitely going to be a weekly feature and i think it's brilliant and i'm glad that we can do this this is mark clonus's take well it's his insight shall we say into galaxy shuttle and I'm pretty excited for this for a couple of reasons. So most people who watch this channel regularly know that I'm massive into the Japanese G1 figures. So it's nice to have a Japanese G1 figure. And also, I know it's an Astro Train redeco, but I didn't get the Astro Train figure either. So for me, it's going to be a completely different experience. That looks great. He's obviously got the base there that, again, is trying to replicate G1 where he's resting on the countdown base. Um, and of course, there he is in the base mode, it looks great. You're obviously gonna be able to attach other sets to it, which I think is great. Um, but of course, it's got a third mode, which is a train. Now, the original didn't have a train mode. It was a base robot and a shuttle, obviously. So um, it's it's a nice bonus, and it's obviously only there because they are using um, Astro Train's mold. And funnily enough, there is him with Astro Train's head on. I don't, they're definitely not gonna be putting that in the box like they've been doing with other things, but it's just interesting to see um, where they got that idea from. Moving on, you've just seen that already. So we had a sneak peek last week and here's some more official images. This is MDLX from 3.0 and this is their cliff jumper figure. Now this is one of the only times that I'm not super excited about these, even though I don't collect them. Apologies for the glare. Um, it's obviously just, okay, they've got a different head. It is just a redeco of Bumblebee. Now I know that they do this a lot. All companies do this a lot, but Cliff Jumper has never been a VW Beetle. So for me, if they'd have just changed, you know, the feet, just change the feet, change something else ever so slightly. Um, again, I know times are hard and they probably want to keep using the same mold, same as everybody. But for me, it's, I don't know. I don't know, as I say, maybe you'll agree with me. Let me know in the comments. I think they do some amazing statues. They do some amazing products. Uh, but I think with this, it's just, it's not the greatest, is it? It could, well, it does look good, but it could have been so, so much better. Again, real apologies for the glare. There's loads of pictures of these on TFW2005 and tformers.com as well. There, of course, is the Bumblebee, and you can see we've got a different head sculpt there as well. So, moving on from that, we've got, in fact, now, last thing, I need to tell you some stats about it. So there is the figure. It's 12 centimeters, because it's DLX, so it's the look size. It's going to be pre-orders um, are on their pre-order price, sorry, is 70 US dollars and it's estimated shipment of the fourth quarter of this year. So anytime soon, to be honest, um, it says pre-order selected regional distribution partners, check with your distributors for availability. And the figure itself is approximately five inches, 12 centimeters tall, two cliff jumper heads, 36 points of articulation, zinc alloy and metal parts. So again, it's a great action figure, fully poseable. I just think they perhaps should have made a teeny bit more effort and yeah, made it more like a cliff jumper. <laughs> right, moving on, Jarda figures or Jarda toys. They are again making some metallic figures, but these are much, much bigger than the other ones. So the mini figs they've already released, this is a combination of obviously G1 and a bit of Beast Wars because we've got Optimus Primal there, you can see. There's all four of them out of the packaging. These are quite cool, they're quite funny. I love, it. I love anything a bit like chibi style. Uh, like that you can see how much bigger they are so they're nearly three inches they're over seven centimeters while optimus is and because of this there's quite a bit of detail on them and again remember these are die cast um so again i like them i think they look great whether i'll get them or not i don't know we don't seem to get jarred toys in honesty in the uk i haven't really seen any of the others at all uh, but optimus primal looks kind of cool um, i don't know what i'd do with them i probably just end up giving them my kids but i do actually like the look of them so they are out and about i think they've been finding well they've obviously been finding retail already because someone's took some pictures of them moving on to new age we've got quite a bit of third party stuff coming up in a second now so this is of course new age's take on shattered glass jet fire so its official name is h45b strange love which is shattered glass jet fire and again he looks cool i always confess i'm an absolute sucker for shattered glass figures so it's obviously a redeco of H45 Firefox. 
But the interesting thing about this is if you see the gun, the gun is a redeco of H45EX. So they've, I suppose, used the two, one, one mold and one, the accessories from the two existing figures to create this. And again, it looks great. I've said loads of times, I'm, I'm getting more and more tempted with these guys. Maybe in the future, um, I might have to expand into the Legends collecting. I know some people will absolutely love them. And again, I think they look great. Last few pictures of this guy. And that's, of course, some of their actual promotional advertising pictures right there. Moving on to Dr. Wu. There we go. This makes me laugh every time because he's called Little Monster. Um, and I'll tell you why it doesn't make a difference. In the UK, if you were to Google Little Monster, you would have a green female monster that is part of a kid's CBBS program. And she's called Little Monster. And every time you hear that, that's just what I expect to see. But it's obviously not at all. This is Dr. Wu via, of course, Mechanic Toys interpretation of Wheelie from Revenge of the Fallen. These are so detailed and such cool little figures. Again, I thought they were legend scale, but I've been educated and they are smaller than legend scale. So this is an eight centimeter robot and a five centimeter alternate mode truck. And it just looks super cute. Um, whether you like the movie figures or not, you've got to, I suppose, appreciate how good that, that looks, especially in his alternate mode. Now, once again, they're jumping on the bandwagon the same as everybody else. Now, we previously knew that they were going to do two completely different color changes to make them uh, limited edition. This, however, is another variant. So you've got MCO3T. Um, that must stand for transparent. So you can't really tell there, but there you can tell in the alternate mode, it is translucent blue plastic. So again, they're dicing with everybody with the translucent blue plastic. It's the same mold, same figure, just exactly in that translucent blue plastic. Right, moving on, Earthspark. So Earthspark is about to be launched. Uh, debuts on Paramount Plus on the 11th of November. Now, I'm not gonna say too much about this because there is some crazy spoilers and some crazy revelations. There is a one minute 51 video um, on all their social media, or if you haven't got social media, you've just got the internet, go to TFW 2005, you can see the article there. And if you click the link, I've just got a couple of screenshots, nothing that's giving too much away, but there's a, there's a couple, there's definitely one jaw-dropping thing on it. So um, whether you want it spoiled or not, I don't know. But maybe you've heard already, I don't know. But I was, there was something that I was definitely very, very surprised with. And I think it's going to be really interesting because they're taking that as a concept. So I can't wait to see that and see how they take that. Next thing you've just seen the cover of, this is pretty much coming out now. And I can't wait to get a hold of this. So this is the War for Cybertron. And as you can see there, it's the art and making of book. Now, if you go to tformers.com, they have got an interview, a full interview, and a load of pictures and screenshots like this with the author. Um, and they're discussing pretty much what you can see here. The book looks fantastic. The art is amazing. We've obviously got some shots from the actual cartoon. There's huge amounts of insight. It's something that I definitely can't wait to get hold of myself. Uh, I think it just looks great. The reason I've stopped on this one, because I think this is quite interesting. You've got the sizes of the ships there. And if they are, you know, if the Nemesis is rumored to be the next Titan, how big is it gonna have to be? Because look how much bigger it is than the Ark. Crazy. Again, that's speculation. That's just me going off on a tandem. I just want to show you the pages of this book. And as you can see, sketches, that's amazing artwork. Absolutely love that. And then of course, you've got some pages on the toys as well. There we've got the author. And again, you can go to tformers.com. There's a huge, huge write-up. You've just seen a quick picture of Ultra Magnus. Now, apart from the glaringly obvious Orion Pax to Optimus Prime and Hot Rod to Rodimus Prime, this is a totally new concept that I think is, in a way, really clever. Um, but a little bit like, again, I'm a bit shocked by this. So this is x Transbot Commander Stack Youth Ultra Magnus Edition. So not only are we getting redecos of figures that we've had Diaclone versions of, or alternate universes, or shattered glass versions. We're now getting favorite figures, favorite characters, but younger versions of themselves. And it's either genius or it's either going to, I suppose, take people over the edge because, again, just the abundance of variants that are out there for it. So I don't know how to take it. I think it's clever um, and it's definitely a first time. As I say, again, apologies for the reflection. All these images are off tformers.com. Uh, the figure looks great. You can see it's gonna be quite big, quite chunky. It's a brilliant take on, of course, the Generation 1 original figure with a load of articulation. It's got a Matrix, which I don't remember Ultra Magnus being really young and having the Matrix in there, to be honest. Uh, but that's the only thing I say. I suppose I can pick full tat. You can see it looks like it's gonna weigh just under a kilo. So this is quite a big, 
heavy figure. Uh, there's the ultimate mode again, fantastic homage to G1. Front and back, looking great. Doors open on the cab, highly detailed, fantastic figure. There's a shot of all the accessories, the gun, the figure and the heads. And there is a shot of all the head face plates, sorry, on the head. So as we always expect, loads and loads of things which come out with them. But is it is it daring? Is it is it a new, maybe a new segue that we're going to get younger versions of characters? No idea. I suppose all we can do is just watch this space. Two more things to go. This is Iron Factories, IFEX. Yes, I'm reading because I don't know much about third party. I'll hold my hand up and miss, I'd admit that. 58, hometown watcher. Hoffer, and this, as I say, is Iron Factory's version of him. And again, I've taken these shots from their Weibo. Weibo is a great little website, to be fair. Um, Iron Factory's own page is fantastic. We've got some lovely robot modes here, shots of him. And then in a second, we've got an alternate mode as well, which again, I just think is fantastic. It does look great. There you go. Beautiful little alternate mode. And again, I'm quite impressed with this particular little guy. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, moving on to the final thing. Matrix Workshop, yet again, fantastic upgrade kit, something super simple. Orion Pax's sword, sorry, Orion Pax's gun and Alpha Trion's sword. So there they are. This is Matrix Workshop 84. There they are in hand with the characters. Something that obviously they were missing. They look great. That's more of a homage to the BotCon version of Alpha Trion, if you're wondering why it's got a giant sword. Um, and again, there you go. They just look great. With regards to this channel, I'm really looking forward to doing another live this weekend. I'm going to go live at 10 p.m. UK time. Again, for a couple of hours. Time just seems to go so fast. It's so much fun. Feel free to jump on board. Leave a comment. Um, in the thing. I'm going to put a post up as well. So if people want to see specific figures, I can have them ready instead of having to jump up and go and find them. Um, yeah, we're going to have a discussion on evolution, maybe prices and fix. Anything you want to talk about. It'll be very interesting and it'll be a lot of fun. Also, Wave 2, I know I'm a bit behind, but my Wave 2 legacy has just arrived, so I hope I can get some of them videos done soon as well. As well as getting, as I say, G1, hopefully some more Japanese exclusives involved with all that as well. With regards to Instagram, again, just requests from what people want to see, mainly for, at the moment, Japanese-based um, figures, which is what I seem to be doing, and the videos as well. So once again, thank you to everybody for watching. This is part one. Part two will be on in about 10, 12 hours. Thank you to channel members. Thank you to everybody who's watching this. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, everything. Hope to see you all on um, Saturday, but in the meantime, you'll see me again in 10, 12 hours, and indeed on Friday as well. Thanks very much, guys. Take care.